Member for Guelph. Mr. Speaker, I rise with a heavy heart and much sadness today. The tragic and horrific shooting on the Danforth has shocked and saddened the City of Toronto, the people of our province, and our entire country. On behalf of all members of our party, my thoughts and prayers and condolences are with the victims and their families. My heart goes out to everyone on Danforth affected by this senseless act of violence. It's hard to imagine the horror of that moment last night. I want to sincerely thank the first responders who ran into danger last night, the frontline police officers, EMS, hospital workers, and fire services all deserve our gratitude and support. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts. I also want to thank and acknowledge the everyday heroes who acted to help their co-workers, customers, friends, family, and strangers. I'm inspired by your bravery and your deep instinct to care for people in need around you. With tears in my eyes this morning, I read the news, and I was especially moved by the story of Tanya Wilson, who exposed herself to danger by opening her tattoo shop to help two bleeding victims, a mother and her adult son. Placing them in her tattoo chairs, Miss Wilson administered first aid, helping them for half an hour until paramedics arrived and found them. Her story and others give me hope that even in the face of unspeakable evil, the human spirit and courage is to put care for others before our own safety. Senseless acts of violence have no place in our streets, but the sad fact is that such acts of violence are all too common in today's world. But I know that we are a strong and resilient people. Toronto is a proud and caring city. We will not, we cannot allow such random acts of violence to shut down this city, prevent us from spending time with family, friends, and community in public spaces. And so while we remain vigilant, we will not be afraid to celebrate this city and each other. We cannot allow cowardly actions of a disturbed individual to drive us apart, make us afraid of each other, prevent us from opening our arms to strangers. We are stronger than that. We are better than that. So while we mourn the loss of life today, I know that in the coming days there will be discussions about how we prevent such tragedies in the future. And I ask my colleagues in this house and my fellow citizens all across Ontario that we have that conversation in a respectful, dignified, and productive way, in a way that honors those that lost their lives last night, in a way that brings us together, pursuing a collective agenda that our cities, our streets, and our communities be safe for everyone. If we stick together, we can turn a senseless act of violence into meaningful change. So, Mr. Speaker, I want to close by offering my heartfelt condolences to those who lost loved ones last night. The pain and loss you feel is real, and we are here for you, we grieve for you, and we pray for you.